Peanuts and the December Festivals by A. L. Dot French. It was the middle of December, and Peanut was seated on the park bench in Laureate's Park with her eldest brother Sebastian. They were waiting for their mother to meet them. Peanut got the nickname when Daddy Max, one of her grandfathers, had given her the name. He, as he said, she was as small as a peanut when she was born. Peanut's full name was Sabine Clementine James, but she got called Sabine only when she was in trouble. At eight years old, she was still the smallest among her family and friends. Her size bothered her, but not enough to prevent her doing the right thing whenever she could. As people walked by, they greeted each other, as well as the children. Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Sebastian answered. Finally, Peanut had to ask, Bass, why are, you, why are you answering Happy Holidays? Everyone called him Bass. Peanut always had a question. If you want to know something, you should be like Peanut and ask. I can't look at someone and decide that they celebrate Christmas, he said. Oh, so what else is there, she demanded. Peanut, I can list at least three for you. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. I know Christmas. The others, I don't know. What are you doing? Peanut had pulled out her phone from her pocket. While we wait for mom, I'm going to find out about the December festivals. Bass grinned and took out his phone too. Yeah, let's see how many we can find. Let's start with the three that you told me. Bass nodded and started to search on his phone too. I found St. Nicholas Day. It is a Christian festival celebrated on the 6th of December and it honors his birth, Peanut Red. It says that he is a third century saint who became the inspiration for Santa Claus. Well, two days later, on the 8th of December, the Bodhis celebrate Bodhi Day. Bodhi Day is the day of enlightenment. It is the day that the Buddha experienced enlightenment, which they call Bodhi, Bas said. Hanukkah is pronounced Zanukkah. We have been saying it wrong all the time, Peanut said. It is also known as the Festival of Lights. We have one too. But it is not the same as the one for Hanukkah, Bas pointed out. I suppose. Peanut returned to her phone to read some more. The date is not the same every year and can start as early as November. It runs for eight nights and days and they light candles. The candle holder is called a menorah. Look, she held the phone so close to Bass that he could not see the picture. He had to push her hand back. Hanukkah celebrates the rededication of the second holy temple in Jerusalem at the time of the Maccabean revolt of the second century BC. What does that mean? Peanut asked. Bas frowned, then said, It means that there is a second temple, that there was a revolt, and it happened about 2,000 years after Christ. Peanut was not sure she liked the answer, so looked for another festival instead. Oh, Hindus have one. The Pancha Ganapati in honor of the five-faced Ganesha. Pancha means five, and Ganapati is the elephant-headed Hindu god. It runs from 21st through 25th December. I have one that takes place in the 21st December too. It is the winter solstice. This is when the sun is the furthest away from the earth. Pagans and Wicca believers celebrate that date by spending time with loved ones, feasting, dancing, and having bonfires. What's that? Penis asks. What, the bonfires? No, silly, the pagan and Wicca people. How should I know? You have a phone, you tell me. With that challenge from Bass, Venus checks her phone. A pagan is a person who does not follow the established world of faiths. They follow ancient beliefs that are around long before many churches were born. The Wicca people are one of the many pagan faiths. Hmm, interesting. Fun, Bass grinned. Saturnalia is also pagan. Saturnalia was an ancient Roman festival held on the 17th of December in honor of the god Saturn. There was feasting, role reversals, gift giving, and gambling. 
many people see that it is that it became Christmas. Ha ha, Peanut laughed. Now I'll read about Christmas. It takes place on the 25th of December, the day set aside to remember the birth of Jesus Christ, where we will get new clothes, new toys, lots of food and drink. Black pudding, sorrel, ham and local bread, Peanut listed. She loved black pudding. Here is one I have never heard of. Zerathathos Sadisu. The what? Zerathathos Disu. The death of prophet Zarathustra. It takes place on the 26th of December. Zarathustra was a prophet who founded Zarathrianism, one of the world's eldest monotheists monotheistic religions and before you ask me monotheistic means they believe that there is one god Basseda. monotheistic 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 peanut whispered as he tried out the new word then there is kwanzaa 26 of december to the first of january what does it say peanut waited for bass to read it says that it started in 1966 by Dr. Mwalanga Karenga, who was a professor and the chairman of Black Studies at California State University. Kwanzaa is a celebration that honors African heritage among its descendants. It takes place over seven nights, and on each night, families gather and light one of the seven candles on the kinara. That's what they call the candle holder. Kwanzaa comes from the phrase Matunda ya Kwanzaa, which means first fruits in Swahili. Peanut read from her phone. I found a Japanese one. It's called Omisoka, the traditional celebration, the traditional celebration on the last day of the year. Like Olia's hair, Peanut nodded. Then she said, Bass, we did a whole month. They were so busy, they never heard mom arriving. Boo, she said. Hey, mom, Peanut jumped. What's so interesting? We are finding out about December festivals, Peanut explained. The Festival of Carols and Festival of Lights? Nana can tell you about that if you ask her, mom said. Bass laughed, then explained what they were really doing. There are lots and lots, mom, Peanut added. Really? Then you can tell me about it on the way home. I had to use the car park, so grab your stuff. I left Dax in the car. That dog loves to ride, Bass commented. Dax's family, Peanut objected. I thought I was going to hear all about the December festivals. Mum stopped the argument before it could start. Yes, and as they walked towards the car, Peanut and Bass started to tell their mum all that they had found out about the December festivals. The end. Until the next adventure.